So in this video, we are going to look at how to capture some video reference material from an online source. So this is not to be used publicly in your films because it, it might be copyrighted material. But the point is, is that when you want to use it as a drawing reference, as you can see, when you scrub through it, it's actually very hard to stop at exactly where you want to stop. So you can't actually go through frame by frame. It, it kind of jumps through. And it's very hard to kind of scrub backwards and forwards and get exactly what you want to see. So my what, what I do is I use a QuickTime 10 to capture a part of the screen. So if we open QuickTime 10 and then we go to File, New Screen Recording, click on that and then you get the option to start a screen recording. But before it actually records, you get the opportunity to decide what you want to capture. You can either capture the whole screen or just a part of it. And obviously we only really want to capture a part of the screen. So if we just select the part of the screen that we want. And then we can click to start recording. Then we have to press uh, activate the screen and then press play. And then we can capture a piece of video which we can then look back frame by frame and use it as a drawing reference. So when we want to finish, we click stop and we can fill the screen. It's much easier to control the video. You can scrub backwards and forwards so that you can just keep repeating certain parts so that you can really get to see what's actually happening. You can then go through frame by frame using your forward and backwards arrows on the keyboard, which is really useful then to be able to. So we can really analyze the footage frame by frame. And we can, we, when, we, when we've got the frame that we want, we can then leave that up as a reference, get our sketchbook out and um, sketch up uh, you know, the, 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 the frame we want and it'll sit there for as long as we need it. And it's really useful being able to flip between frames. As an animator, you can compare the difference between frames and see exactly what is changing between each frame and exactly how it changes. So that's another way of being able to really analyse that movement and break it down and understand what, what's happening. Another good thing you can do, um, another useful thing you can do, you can look at animators work and by scrubbing through, by going through their work frame by frame, you can really get to see what, what they were doing. That's a really good way of really learning about how exactly they went about animating their sequence. Suddenly the movement gets really extreme there. So you can really see how they've exaggerated the, the lines. And the fingers are really, have been really stretched out there. And the legs have been stretched out there. So it's a really good way of really understanding um, the work of another animator. So that you can see what they do. Great, so that is um, how you capture with QuickTime 10. Capture some video from the screen. So that you can use it as a reference so that you can either break down someone else's animation and really understand how they animated a sequence or by looking at some live action so that you can use it as a photographic reference for how something moves okay thank you very much if you liked the video like and subscribe and have a look at some of the other videos thank you